Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony North Eastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well as you've just seen the only way to see that detail inside the tunnel is to place a cube camera uh, in front of the Bolden Lane archway um, so you can actually physically see it so that's the only way to see it we'll probably not see it again unless I do a video where that is included but um, yeah so I just thought I'd show you that right so let's concentrate on what we're going to do this week and here's where we left off from last week um, I just finished doing the ballasting and I think that's quite solid now so I can start scraping off any of the loose ballast and um, painting the rails. Um, I did put a ballasting video on my community page and uh, if you want to check that out you please feel free to do so. Um, yes we've got a lot to do this week. Um, paint the rails as I just said and put the greenery in between uh, the, the bridge and the signal box. Uh, add some telegraph poles and hopefully complete one of the scenes that we have in the photographs. So what I'm doing now is I'm just checking um, the rails for ballast inside this area because if there's any large amounts of ballast in there it could trip up the locomotives and we don't want derailments here at the northeastern and also any bare patches that I might have missed um, I found one here so I'm about to fill that in with a little bit of ballast and there it's just a case of dropping a few drops of that PVA water mix in um, and then adding a bit more ballast to, to tidy up so that's what I'm doing at the moment um, so I shall do, carry on doing this off of camera. That's the rails done. I've done that in the usual way using a matte brown and a matte black. Um, mixing them together in various shades because um, you don't want the tracks to be all one colour. As you can see there's definitely um, light shades of brown and grey and black. Um, on this track. Um, all I've got to do now is weather the ballast, um, darken that down and it'll be ready for running trains on. So the next thing I want to concentrate on is where that post is over there. Now the idea behind that is we need a dividing line between the branch line and the main line. So I'm going to put a series of posts in from that point all the way along to uh, this point here where you can see I have put post in place ready. The posts themselves are made out of matchsticks and as you can see I've mitered them and then stuck them to a matchstick ready. They have been painted they don't look like it but they have been painted. Um, so the idea now is to drill a series of holes and um, fit these posts. Some of the posts I can glue in straight away because the scenic has already been done at this end where the bridge is. It's just a case of finding the original hole that I drilled somewhere just about there. So there you go. So there's the, the first post home as it were. And there is another one in here somewhere. Oh, there. So I've just got to trim that one down and glue it in. And this is what I'm trying to achieve uh, with this effect. So there'll be a series of posts sticking up um, all the way along 
this border if you like. So it's time to crack on with the scenics. So I'm going to concentrate on one section at a time. As you can see I've already laid some PVA wood glue and, um, and I've put some marker posts in position so that I don't lose where the holes are. So as soon as I'm finished with putting bushes and greenery in I can whip out the marker posts and put in the proper posts so that way I don't lose where the holes are. So I'm just doing about a foot at a time um, and hopefully this will work out. I'm using quite a, a mixture for doing this. I'm doing the using coarse turf and I'll be using some dark green bushes and I'll be using some blended turf as well so there's quite a bit of mixture going in here along with some coarse turf so it'll be interesting to see how this looks once it's done So I'm just putting it on very random, different courses of turf, different scenics, just so it ends up something similar to what we've got up at the other end there where the wall is. Something like that. So once you've completed a little area, it's just a case of taking your marker post out and putting in the post that you've trimmed in therefore you won't lose the position and where the holes are so we'll just take that one out and put that one in and it's as easy as that just set it to the right height there we go we shall continue with this all the way down to the other end And that's the posts in and um, as you can see we've got a barrier between the main line and the branch line but I'm not going to stop there because I have cut some of these branch pieces off of those cheap trees that you can get and what I'll do is I will glue them like that along there in a few places so there's quite a few there so we'll spread them out and that just gives that a, a little bit more extra detail along on that edge and uh, that should uh, finish that off Adding those tree branches and a few extra bushes helps finish off the line of posts all the way throughout that uh, barrier, as it were, between the branch line and main line. And uh, there's still more detail to add along that um, scenic barrier, if you like. But yeah, finishes off nicely. Tom the signalman has managed to keep his garden all together, even with all the major building works going on around here. So it's all starting to come together. To finish off the rails, I'm just using my black wash uh, which is uh, acrylic paints 50-50 black and white with 50-50 uh, PVA wood glue and water and uh, this just darkens the sleepers between the rails especially 
where you need stations and that sort of thing you need a dog wash and uh, as you can see it's just just taking the edge off the ballast that we've put down that's all it does um, I'm only putting it on very very lightly as well and that finishes off the rails so all I have to do now is clean up the rails then we can start running trains again and meanwhile back at the bench I've recycled these two tine dock signs they were single but now I've turned them into doubles um, to try and match what we've got on this photograph here as you can see now you can just make out that these edges here are triangular go away and then come back again so that's what I've done here and uh, yep so what I'm doing now I'm just forming up some card to go around the edges um, one and a half mil wide cutting them into mitres and uh, making the edges and what I'll do is I'll fill these in with um, flowers and things so it'll look uh, quite uh, well quite good I think um, the original photograph as you can see is just full of weeds so I'm gonna have to do a little bit better than just filling them up with weeds uh, so that's where we are at the moment. Hopefully we'll get these finished pretty quick, I think. So I'm just doing one piece at a time. Because I'm going round the edge. I'm just sitting it on the card. Rather around the card. And then I'll just paint these edge cards white. And... Uh, Just tie that in there, a little bit of glue. Drop that in there just to keep it flush with the edge. One more bit to do, and I should finish up something like this one. before we do a little bit of gardening um, I have already painted these edges in a matte white so the next thing to do is add some PVA wood glue into these flower beds as it were give that a little bit of a spread around in a minute and do the same to this one Right now we'll spread the glue around. And what we'll do once the glue has been spread around, we'll add some tea leaves to create the soil. So I've just got to make sure we get in and around the posts. same here so we've spread the PVA wood glue around the bed so I'm just adding the tea leaves this creates the soil So the idea is this uh, is uh, once we start putting the flowers in the tea leaves or the soil as it were just fills in the bottom and you don't see 
the card underneath. One done, now we'll do the other one. You should end up with something like that. And the next thing you want to do is plant some instant flowers. Um, you can pick these up anywhere. Um, I got these off of eBay, and uh, I think you get ten for about four quid. So you can just trim them to suit. As you can see, they're, it's, they're quite well made. And I think I can get away with putting one of these in each of the centres of these just to, to finish them off. So we shall glue them in the middle. And um, that's what you call instant gardening. So what I did off camera was um, I turned these upside down and just tipped any of the excess tea leaves out of these flower beds um, so that the wood glue on the bottom of these flower beds would stick straight to the tea leaves that are already stuck down and uh, yeah so that's them done now just to finish off I've got some of these old blossom trees hanging around um, so what I'll do is I'll just plant a few of these around the edges of the flower beds just to add some different colour. I'll just snip away at the branches. and then just stick these around the edge and this is what we're left with and Tom the signalman is a very keen gardener and he looks after all the flower beds uh, at Tyne Dock to finish off I'm taking um, some of that shiny white off of the flower bed frames by using some of this Citadel shade Matorian grime as you can see that is just too bright white and this just takes it back didn't want to use a black or anything like that. I think the, the grime, this green grime just, uh, just just takes that shine off the white. And it's hard to see on the camera but that's got the, the grime on but the other side you can see it's bright white and this side just takes it off, just takes that back a bit. There's one more detail missing from this scene and that's some telegraph poles. Now these are the ratio telegraph poles as you can see I've already painted this one. Um, if I just quickly show you before I stick this in the ground. Um, I've galvanized the steps there with some silver paint and I've just painted the, the ceramics insulators on the top with white gloss and uh, 
that is ready to go in the ground. And with me placing this in the ground, that now connects both signal boxes together. Well, communication wise, that is. Can't find the. Ah, oh, there's the hole. Let's put some of that glue in the hole. I'm just pushing some of the glue in the hole, that's it. There we go. And we'll just leave that to set. A little bit of blended turf to hide the glue. And it's job done. I thought we'd have a look at this photograph one last time because I, I don't think we'll be seeing again. again. Reason being is I think I've created the photograph. Alright, we've got a signal box in the background. But if you take that away, I think we've got it. Right on cue is the V2. As you can see we've got a mirror image at both ends of the platform and I think that's fitting really. Before we go I want to say a little bit about these lampposts, um, I got them off eBay, um, they're HO scale, they're 3 to 12 volt supply and they do come with resistors um, and uh, they, they do look quite neat for what they are, I think they're quite cheap as well, uh, I think you get 10 for about 10.99 or something like that, or 9.99 but you might have to wait a while from for them but uh, yeah totally good value right so what can I say this week well big news in the middle of the week I managed to hit or shall I say we have managed to hit 8,000 subscribers and it's all down to you guys I mean it's just I'm just speechless really um, I mean, the, 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 what I get from from the hobby is basically the feedback. I mean, 
I don't go out my way to please subscribe or like or anything like that. All I, I'd like to say at the end of the video, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. And um, that's what I'm going to say in a minute. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. <laughs> so, yeah, a, a big thank you to everybody who, um, well, likes popping in and seeing what I'm getting up to. So, until next time, enjoy your model railways. And we'll see you again. Bye for now. Bye.